Good morning. It is 5 16 a.m. We are at the charger right here by the hotel. Charge it up, we're at 89% right now. I'm trying to get to 99. May not charge to 99. May not need to charge to 99. Technically, the car th says I can leave for the White Sands now and make it back to this charger and have 16% left. But we are worried a little bit about crosswinds. So we're gonna take some extra precaution. And as of now, let's say I still have a little bit of room. Park opens at seven. Car says I'm gonna make it to White Sands at 6.30. So we have a little bit, but bad needs to warm up. So I'm only getting uh, 31 kilowatts to eight miles an hour. But excited for the day. Actually, both of us slept decently well, even though we had to be out so early. We have embarked on our drive and the moon is to our left currently. And it's very big and it has a yellow, like beautiful orangish tinge. We're here at White Sands National Park. I thought use this bathroom. But I'm gonna do the backcountry camping trail. We're the first people in the park today, but there are a few people who stayed at the campground last night. It's a little chilly. It's like, what? What did Grace, you said like 45, like 45 degrees? 45 right now, yeah. Anyway, this should be super fun. And at the uh, fee station, we like got there like a minute before the guy actually opened the place up. And we wanted to buy our National Parks Pass, but it, they sold out because of spring break. And the guy said, I guess you can enjoy your freebie. All right, we're starting this trail, but don't really know where it is, but I think we follow these footprints, we'll be fine. First impression of the sand. It feels like very fine, maybe just as far as Sahara, but it feels a lot colder, of course. But it's, I feel like it's easier to walk on than uh, the Sahara. I think we found a sled. Oh wow, in the Sahara Desert, we stumble upon a snowboard. Oh my gosh, it's a sled. Oh, this is so perfect. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at this. Correction, it was two sleds. This is gonna be sick. We don't know if it's gonna work. Oh God. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like going into this thing. I don't know if it's steep enough, guys. We think right here could work well. I'm sinking in. <laughs> oh yeah. Pick your feet up, pick your feet up. One hand is tough. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh. I don't think I pushed hard enough. This is the way to climb up. Just use the board to help you. Look at this. It's amazing here. All right. And push. Ooh. Are you good? You had it! In some of these valleys, there's a noticeable difference in the texture of the sand. And we're trying to figure out why it might be. I think it's potentially vehicles that come in to push the sand. You guys wanna try sledding? Oh, I'd love to. Sure. We found these out here, so you might as well just give it a shot. Thank you. You might, you might need a, a steeper uh, 
doing the like that one right there because we tried something like this and it was just too sh like it was too that wasn't steep enough we are finishing up here we didn't really do the route it, it's kind of hard to find the route yeah because it's just all sand we kind of did sledding and then we walked back towards people and then we gave them the sleds and we had a super cool conversation shout out yeah, to right. uh kai Hi, taha, taha and, and uzi. uzi um hopefully they're watching what's up guys uh but now we're gonna go back to the car dust off the sand stop by the visitor center ugh, stop by the visitor center and get our stamp and yep. then the plan is to so there's a destination charge in las cruces and it's questionable on whether or not it actually exists. So that's our best case scenario. Is we get the destination charger, we get that to work. Yes. If not, we have to make a decision on whether or not we can make it to Deming, where the next supercharger is. It's another 30 minutes and it's in the direction of Phoenix. So it would save us time. So if we have to go back to El Paso, which is a little bit shorter, we definitely have enough charge to make it to El Paso. It's just gonna cost us time. an extra, probably add a, a tick on an extra you know, two hours plus maybe which is not ideal, but we should be able to make it to Phoenix tonight regardless and get a workout in. So, decent amount of driving ahead. Hopefully the scenery would be cool, but we are officially out of Texas, in New Mexico, and we'll be in Arizona tonight if that everything goes as planned. Well, first let me explain. This is the gator that we got from the uh, Bassmaster Convention in Nashville. It's coming to use now to block some of that sun. Knoxville. Because what did I say, Nashville, oh, Knoxville. Because uh, a couple days ago, for the sun coming to the left side, like my whole left arm and left side of my neck was not burnt, but definitely a little more red. And then I've been using the shirt we got from the Bassmaster Convention, like cover my arms like this. It's been helping out a lot. Yeah, I look kind of disheveled, I feel like. Uh, but update on the trip. So I did a further Googling and it does seem like there are definitely destination chargers in Las Cruces because someone wrote a Google review five days ago saying there's seven of them. So I think we should be more than fine. And she specifically mentioned how they were going back and forth to White Sands. So that should be fine. Destination chargers, there is indeed a bunch. We're pulling out of Las Cruces where we just charged up just a little bit. We have decided on a plan for driving for the next couple of hours. We did a couple of calculations using the Tesla, Google Maps, ABRP, and we've decided that hitting up Phoenix first makes the most sense, then Petrified Forest. We also picked up some Kit Kats from a office at Las Cruces, the Charger, and Eric found this peach flavored Kit Kat, which neither one of us have tried before. Oh gosh, that is nasty. Oh. I do not. Oh. Here we are at the supercharger in Deming, New Mexico. We got here with like 10, slightly under 10% left. And it's our last supercharger here in New Mexico because the next one is going to be in Arizona, I believe. But we're going to be here for quite a while. 45 more minutes. We've already been here for 5, 10 minutes. Getting some clean done. Grace is in the bathroom doing some vacuuming. Here are the charge stats. We're not splitting charge. Since we have so long to uh, wait to charge and it's sort of almost 1 o'clock, that's how we get some food and there happens to be a Dickie's barbecue pit attached to this uh, gas station. And I've had it before when I was younger in Florida. And I thought it was pretty good growing up, but I always thought everything was neat growing up was good. So quarter pound of brisket, quarter pound of the jalapeno cheddar sauce. I'll just give it each a shot. In fairness, you did say it was not going to be spicy. That's not bad. It's good. One of my favorite kind of barbecue meats. Mmm, that's good. We just finished charging here in Wilcox, Arizona. And yes, we are in Arizona finally. We are also in a different time zone. Super windy out, but it's a charger here at a Holiday Inn. We also found out that on our way towards Phoenix is Seguro National Park. Now a guy at the supercharger, I think yesterday, who I was talking to this old guy saying, oh, it's super nice, you should go there. We are more than originally planning on going there, but we heard that they do have national parks passes today, right now, and it's on our route. It's not much of a deviation. We have a little bit of time, so we're gonna stop there. This is 
second national park of the day, Seguro National Park. I'm so ready to buy this yeah. National Parks Pass, wow. finally. We finally got it. Our National Parks Pass. All right, here's the plan. We don't have a lot of time because we want to get for sunset to Outlook in Phoenix. So we're going to do this, what's it called, Grace? Freeman Homestead Trail. in Phoenix, Arizona. We are now at Vista Lookout at the park. We had to drive up a little bit and through the city and we stopped by Costco to get some food. We got rotisserie chicken for dinner with mini sweet peppers that we washed in the bathroom. Total of $10, pretty good meal. And we get a great view with the meal. The view is supposed to be a tiny bit more spectacular but it is a little bit like foggy-ish. Charging up here at the Tempe, I guess there might be a couple over here, but Tempe charger. And I've never seen anything like this before. It's back to back chargers. Like there's a row here on this side and then right behind it, another row. Kind of cool though, but we're gonna end the vlog here because we're really tired, even though I know it's only eight o'clock, but remember we woke up at 5 a.m. So yeah. it's been a whole 15 hours by the time we get to bed probably 19 hours for us uh, So we're gonna shower at the Planet Fitness, which is like four minutes down the road and Then call it a night yeah. uh, But we had a pretty packed day a lot of driving but also white sands really in the early in the morning mm -hmm. And then Seguro, which, which is a cool little addition uh, Overall, I think a, a great day yeah. All right, see you in tomorrow's vlog. Good night